No way, buddy. Really? You're going to sell all the NFTs? No. No, 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 no. That ain't happening. Oh, I wish okay. I could. I guess I people, I some people are going to hold the IUs till the end. Others will sell it. Yeah, it depends which NFTs. There's some I'm trying to get rid of, but obviously can't. But, but hey, we should, we should introduce who's here. Oh, mate, don't I'm shit myself about the junkies. I'm shitting myself even more now. We have tonight the one and only Crown and Modbus. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, how's it going? All right. Do you know what I've always wanted to do? Do you remember Kermit the Frog used to go, eh. I'd love to do that. Do it. <laughs> I can't, I can't <laughs> go, eh, when I'm introducing someone in. Wiggling the going, arms. Guys? Yeah, but I'm actually wiggling my arms while I'm going, eh. How's it going, guys? It's going great. Going good, well, good. thank you. Good, good, good. So, MD, what are we talking about? Well, we have to look at what's going to happen because we're going to have probably on September 13th, NFTs launching on the XRPL. And um, we were thinking, you know, what will people do? Will they hold the IOU oh. till the end? Will they mint early? Will they wait to see if price goes up for the IOU? You know, because there's a rush on minting. You know what I'm saying? Everyone will go crazy and mint. Will that put the price of the NFT or will the price of the token go up? Who knows? So we wanted to go over some of the most popular NFTs that are coming for the yeah. XRP uh, and, and just go over each of them and just see what everybody thinks. Yeah. Like we're looking at the junkies. Um, see, I want to do Kermit the Frog again. <laughs> 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 what do you guys think? Is, is, are you guys going to mint right away, like first day, first hour, first minute? I, I plan to. I, I plan to mint um, when, when um, minting for junk, junkies is available. Um, I'm going to hold a few of them um, off from minting just to see how the um, IOU token does. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, I think it's going, I, I, I honestly think it'll go up, you know, um, I don't want to say exactly how much, but I think it's going to go up substantial. Yeah, and I'm think? the same way. Um, You're saying gonna, it's going yeah. up what? The, 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 the IOU or the, the IOU? IOU both. I think both will. But do you think it'll affect if people don't mint a load? Say a lot just hold off on mint. Do you think that'll impact the NFT price or? The IOU price if people are yeah, not I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know yet. I don't really know. It's well, what? yeah, the, the the thing that's interesting is though that the uh the IOU token you can always get out right away, right? Mm -hmm. And the the actual NFT you actually do have to sell. Yeah. So somebody may want to say, you know what, I'm gonna wait and see how this plays out. Um and hold their token because, like I said, they can always get out at any moment as I long mean, as there's a bio or like a buy offer available. I mean, as we know, Crown, from previous experiences, we've brought on whitelist and the floor price has been lower than the whitelist price. Yeah, I've seen that within the same day or within two days. Yeah. Where the, where it goes, yeah. you know, lower than floor price. Yeah. So that's something yeah, you got to consider. People just sell instantly and one out. They've just but I think one big factor also is going to be what is the utility and is there a utility? I would agree with that. Right? Because it puts a value on the actual NFT rather than yeah. on the token. And many of the IOUs will, will also expire, basically, right? They will have no longer any use after minting. In the, in I mean, you've also got to take into consideration tissue paper hands who are just in it to make some money. So you've got that to take into equation as well with the IU. If it, if it goes up, when then will they just ditch it? Yeah, because the, the token is kind of like a gumball machine, right? I've heard this analogy before where you, you have a token, you have a gumball machine, it comes out, it's random. Um, I think that kind of, you know, it's kind of for like, if you're like a gambler's kind of mentality where, you know, you, you don't want to necessarily buy the NFT, you want to, you know, you want to, you know, roll you're for a rare it, one. So that could depend on the price too. The other thing is the projects themselves. So for instance, if you take like, 
let's say X Rillas, they, you know, they have seven silverbacks, for instance, and out of their 7,777 total, if day one, five of those silverbacks get minted and there's only two left and there's only like two grand that minted, you're probably not going to mint. Let's yeah. be honest. You're probably going to get out of the token, the IOU token, you're probably not going to mint because if your true goal is to get the rares of the rare, your you're, chances are you so... You ain't going to get anything, are you? Chances but that's why I like really the... Slim. Exactly. That's why I like the junkies because there's there's two facets of rarity when it comes to the junkies. You have the facet of the actual traits of your junkie, how it looks, because it's going to look like that in the game. And you actually have another rarity set about the stats for in the game. And you could mint something on one or the other, and it could be it could be worth a lot depending on if people yeah. want the, the look or do you want the stats for in game. So it's kind of a unique scenario. Well, I know when the lads joined us, they did iterate that. Just because you get a common doesn't mean that it won't be rare because of the traits and everything. Correct. So people have to keep that in mind with this project. Yeah. yeah. So it's important. The utility is really important, right? Very important. So let's talk about real quick about the utility for each as well. So what okay. utility do we have for the junkies? Can you guys? Over to comment? Modbus. Yeah, Modbus. Just give us a short, and, quick rundown. What's the yeah. utility? It's going to be hard to be short and quick. It, the utility is the uh, the game metaverse, the social club, the hub, everything built behind it, the uh, junction, everything built behind it. So there's a lot of utility with junkies, and of course I'm I'm partial with junkies because that's my son's project, and I've been doing my best to help him out as much as much as possible to get the word out. So. It's been a year, you know, making in the process. So I'm really excited. And, and if you want to see any gameplay videos, um, come on to Discord, get verified with Discord and look at some of the gameplay videos. And it's it's going to be huge. I I have no doubt in my mind. Right. So the, there's a lot of utility known and also unknown. So it's very yeah. good for NFT holders looking forward for the junkies. Yeah, definitely. Let's look at the revelers. This is another um, kind of pretty good utility, right? In real life utility. Yeah, I mean, because they're offering uh, real life utility for your, um, for your NFT. NFT. Yeah, prizes, tickets, airdrops, I mean, all kinds of things. And also holidays, holidays concerts, paid holidays, so meeting, VIP. VIP, exactly. So there's a lot of utility for this kind Which of Which is NFT. different because it's more in real life utility rather than blockchain utility. Yeah. These guys are also, their project is not as much dependent on the crypto community because it's kind of like a real life application rather than a like a blockchain application purely. And I met them. Yeah, I mean they run this on the blockchain, but 99% of the people won't care why, how, and you know how this all works. So that's a different concept altogether. Different concept. Uh, but I'm looking forward to having a, an NFT from these guys. Yeah. How about definitely, you? I'm excited. I'm excited too. Yeah. I, I also hold uh, BPM, so yeah. I, I think it's got huge potential with what they're tackling. I agree. Huge. I think they're themselves not yet <laughs> entirely realizing how huge this no, can be. No, no. I think they're starting to slowly grasp how big they can actually be within the industry, what they're in. Yeah. What they're trying to tackle. We've so, just got to get you in it, into it now, Crown Bro. <laughs> sure, man. Well, we'll, we'll see. I'm, well, I'm kinda... yeah, I'll, I'll twist your arm. Okay. <laughs> I'll twist your arm. Then we got. Then we got the X Punks. That's over to you, buddy. I know nothing about the X Punks. Well, there is um, there is utility, but it's not yet well talked about. Let's say you know, one of the utility is that you will there will be a game. Um, I know, I'm pretty sure Isn't they're that working on beta on... at the moment. I'm sure I read that some beta at the moment. Um, but okay. that's uh, that game is about on XRP. It's not right. the Xpunks project. The Xpunks project are building a metaverse as well, as far as I know. And there will be a game. I think it may be similar to, you know, visually a voxel art, probably. 
but they said they will work on multiple utilities if you hold their NFT. Um, being that the price for the expense is extremely high, the question is, would people tend to try to just profit off of the IOU? Or That's would they the say we'll it. hold for even higher prices to sell NFTs and even hold it for the utility that is kind of unknown? I mean, you're giving away a lot of XRP to mint an NFT on that project. Yeah, they're pretty expensive, right? Yeah. I think they're standing at four and a half thousand right now. That's for, a lot to give for away two, for an NFT. For yeah. No, I don't know about that one regarding NFT against the IOU token. None of you guys have, have X Punk, right? No, I don't. Nope, missed that train. <laughs> All right. so, so that's going to be exciting to see what happens in general, especially with these guys because the price was really high. They the price reached is uh, very high. I think they went to 200,000, uh, 20,000, sorry, over 20,000 per token. Yeah. Then we have the X aliens. Then I refer to you back to you guys. I don't know much about X aliens other than chatting to them in Discord. I have the price against the NFT, who knows? I mean, it's a reasonable price. For the yeah, I, I like them. I, I, like I, them. I, I love the art. Um, What's uh, the price? Great community. Uh, the price is 77 right now. That's um, good. Yeah. And, good yeah. and since I've been holding, I, I get uh, airdrops, free airdrops um, every month. Um, I think I. You I had to hold like, over two, didn't you? Two, two onwards. You have to hold over two. Yes, that's yeah. correct. Yeah. Is yeah. there any kind I, of utility? I'm not entirely sure if there's going to be utility behind them. Uh, I know right now there aren't, um, but who's to say that some of these projects, they may see a metaverse that is built and they may want to partner Jump with on that, that yeah. metaverse. Yeah. Mark, was you wanted to was... comment on something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying anything. Read between but... the lines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, there, there's a lot of projects out there that want to have utility, but they don't have the technical expertise or funding to get the utility behind them and so there's other projects that are building utility and it isn't sorry my person it isn't just that why go to all that if you think you can get on a metaverse and why go to all that trouble if you know a project and know well that you could actually go on to their metaverse and exactly use them. so why go to all that trouble yes and i can see and i can see a very very, you know, the, the top project on the XRP doing something like that with yeah. another project. Incorporating I mean, the other projects and FTs, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, I did say to them on their Discord about it, I want an X-Alien for my junkie. I need an X-Alien for my junkie. So, you know, it's there. So, And they are close with the lads, I know that. They're always and, on our Discord, so. And there are pets that, you know, you, you, you're going to have when you run around in your... Um, in the adventure mode, you know, and yeah. so there's, 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 you know, it, basically the project kind of has to fit the, the scheme of, you know, of let's what say they're going on to right yeah. what they're yes, you know, um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so their price it, it's relative to who they might on board with. Their price dependent. Yeah, I, I think a lot of these projects. I think a lot of these projects will have a lot of potential. You know, um, on the XRP, I, I really do. Then we have the projects. Park Pixel uh, Ape Robot Club guys. Yeah, what I, what I like about these guys is is they uh, they spend a lot of time time you know developing on the XRPL and. Uh, they, um, Adam, you know, with them, that he he won the uh, hackathon, you know, um, a few months back, and uh, they are working on the um, XRP Cafe, uh, which is you know going to be a a marketplace platform, and um, yeah, I, I I really like these guys. They're really nice. Uh, I joined their uh, Twitch space spaces as much as possible, 
and have fun in their little marbles, marble games, you know. So yeah, I mean they are out there. Sloppy and Stove are out there on Twitch, so they're always engaging with the XRP communities. Yeah, and they seem to always be building. They yeah. released their uh, airdrop utility, and they also built the uh, Ethereum to XRP bridge. Oh, right. They, they have those... the, the yes. free, free airdrop utility to get on GitHub, right? Yeah, I yes. believe so. Yes. And Adam built the bridge for the ETH to XRP NFTs, which is, I, I think, at least one project's going to take advantage of that. So they're, they're, they're good builders, and I do love the art. It's, it's so cool. Is there yeah. a utility, any other utility for these? We don't. They, they. I know they have a uh, a separate token, and so what? The or token, right? Or yes. Token, yeah. Or yeah. token, and um, I'm I'm thinking something to the effect that it may be used in like auctioning. Maybe I don't, but I'm not entirely sure. Entirely sure. Like, like if you're gonna auction um, your NFT, you put your or token up for collateral. Oh yeah, like oh, something they, like they, that. They did talk about that last week. They did, week. yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, we have a video up about these guys. If you want to look yeah. at it, it's on you our can channel. Check that one out. That was last and Saturday, Saturday, last Friday, wasn't it? So. Yeah, the NFT stands at ninety XRP. So let's see yeah. how they will do. Let's see how they'll do. And then we want to have a look at the marketplaces. Um, one of the for sure marketplaces will be on XRP, right? Unfortunately, yeah. there's nothing to see yes. yet. But uh, they're kind of leading the way, I believe, right? What I, what I like about on XRP, not just their their marketplace, but I like the uh, the on ramping of the of XRP, and it goes straight into your Zum wallet. You know, um, so you can buy XRP through them if you go to if you click on trade. Yeah, I've buy I've bought it. I've used okay. it several times. Yeah, so you go on cash. You go to cash, and then you can just select a currency. It's like, yep. Yeah, click what you got and then make a little KYC with Banksa. And uh, yeah, you Away pay you go. and you get within minutes, you get your, your XRP. Brilliant, works Away great. I've used it. Have you we've guys just used been it? Talking about, no, we've just been talking about that on Discord, actually, on the Junkies yep. Discord. Yeah, it works perfectly. It, it works great. That way you don't have to buy it on an exchange. Sometimes Maybe. it has to sit on the exchange for 60 Maybe. days. Yeah, you know, and then it, yeah. then you can move it to your Zoom wallet. Well, this goes straight into your Zoom wallet, and it's it's easy, which is yeah, great. can be recommended. Well. So I've used it several times, and and I can recommend oh, it. Oh, yes. you recommending something? I recommend it. Yeah. Oh, it, why do right. I say that? Because oh, it works. <laughs> you're putting it works. your head out. You're putting it yourself works. out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no trouble about that. So no if it fails, you know where to come. <laughs> Not me. MD. You call support. I got nothing to do oh, with no, it. Oh, no, 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 no. You recommended it. We're I calling recommend you. it. We're calling you. Uh, these guys are working on a marketplace as yeah. well, right? This is Park Guys and a few others, isn't it? So, yeah. You want to do the eyes again, don't you? I love the eyes. Look at the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the eyes. <laughs> and they also have the little switch down here. Mm. <laughs> oh, you were in your element last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just clicking around when everyone's talking. <laughs> <laughs> so no, they're working on a marketplace. marketplace. Yeah. I think they said they won't be long before they're testing it out, didn't they? I think they mentioned week. October for a beta. Yeah, yeah. So there's another one. There's, it's good there's a few marketplaces coming out for... XRP yeah. NFT. What is also great about the one. XRPL is that the marketplace is going to be completely on-chain transparent because there's no smart contracts. Every transaction yeah. will be on oh. public blockchain, oh. visible for everyone. And like those hidden ones where you can't see who bought, who done what, who done what. Yeah. So that's, essentially the collections yeah. can be on all marketplaces, essentially. Yeah, they're the yeah. same, all basically. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. And why you not? Why not spread yourself across all marketplaces? Yeah, you could, right? Yeah. So I never but, heard about these guys that you mentioned. Sorry, Cam, what were you going to say? Oh no, I was saying you, you, you. I agree with you. You could spread across. Yeah. yeah so, so Mint NFT. Um, I actually met met um, the marketing manager in in South Austin, Southwest um, last year in Austin, and. Um, they they do a lot of Twitter spaces and stuff and you know attach to the community well. So I think they're another marketplace that that are building. 
Excellent. I think it's good for the uh, projects that there is different places that you'll be able to mint and, and good for the community rather than just focused on one way that's it one or two and you're stuck there and it's like I want to try other places so yeah it's good. yeah exactly it's it's good competition I, I mm. agree um, I think Sologenic has a marketplace but they received some heavy criticism from David Schwartz because they've been using the XLS 14D deprecated uh, NFT standard, and they're getting a lot of criticism in general, right? Yep. Yeah, and uh, who knows how that conversion is going to go? And I haven't even seen anything about any of their plans that they have. So that would be very interesting. To I see mean, that what, what is going to happen to their marketplace once these like open? I mean, right? And you had to use, use you it? had to use their their solo yeah. tokens to to mint. You know, so exactly. I mean, it's yeah. I, don't is there a future for it? I don't know. I'm not saying there isn't, but are they going to be able to, who's going to actually use it when this comes out? I'm just going to say that I won't be using it. So well, I'm I'll going to put myself out there. there. So <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll put myself out there as well, buddy. I won't use it. Why would I? Exactly. Then we have Wenminch. Tell us a little bit about this. I, I'm not familiar with this one. Yeah, so uh, Chris Thompson, he, he um, he runs validator and this is a website that he has for the projects that are coming out um you can you can click on credits um on that little credit credits tab um the yays and the nays in the can I uh, just say it would have been better in alphabetical order but that's the electrician in me i'm sorry go on the, pro <laughs> go on the project buddy. oh yeah yeah i mean that's yeah. just the anal in me Let's go in alphabetical order. It's not a criticism, it's just the anal in me. There's kind of all kinds of useful links down here. Yeah. Yays. The yays, the nays. Yay, the yays. Nays. And then you got you got the uh Ah, <coughs> oh, we're talking ones. about the, oh, the XLS 20 D. Can you go yes. to Yays? Who so really? So there's just one the last one. Yeah. There's yeah. one right. nay, but look at look at outdated real quick. Yeah, it's a lot, or it's a few, I should say. There's a couple. I oh, there's two. Yeah. Yeah. It looks so like if they don't, if they don't they, update, then basically their servers turn into bricks for the. They're gonna XLP. lose the status, <laughs> right? The UNL yeah. status. The Buddy, could you status. go to the yays a second? Yes, sir. The yays. Does it show who the last one was? Because that's intriguing me. I don't think it's well. Oh, I don't think not, it's uh, oh. yeah uh, categorized. See, in, in, I when, really want to know who was the last one to say yay. To get us over that eighty percent mark, plus eighty percent. So and there's a countdown. Yeah. In eleven days. Eleven yeah. days. I'm still waiting on twenty twenty three, lads. I'm sure I'm gonna do it. So I wanna, <laughs> I wanna ask you each uh, one by one. Uh, what are your main NFTs? Tell me, and then tell us, and then over what do you wanna, what do you wanna do? XRP. Do you wanna? How many percent are you going to hold on to? How many percent are you going to sell? Scarborough, is this on it? Is this on XRP or main? Yeah, NFT well, in general, in general. general. Well, XRP because this is launching XRP. now. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, it's the junkies. Is my main, is my only one, really. How much am I going to do? Do you know what? I was going through it the other day, looking at the price of junk and how much could I do? do, do. And to be honest, I will put myself out there. It depends on the price at the time when mint time comes, but it'll be 25% plus. That you will mint and then... That I will mint, yeah. Yeah. That I will mint. And then, obviously, depending what happens with the price, and I'll be keeping a close eye on it. So, without a doubt. But I would say 25% of my okay. junk will be minted. Crown? Yeah, I got... Um... What's your main and what you're going to do? Uh, my main is uh, junk XRP junkies. Um, I'm uh, I really haven't decided. Um, I may just mint one just to have one and kind of see how it plays out. Um, but I will be I'll own a, a lot of junkies, so um, I just want to see how it's going to play out. I have I'm in no rush to mint them, um, as just as long as it's before the Tesla giveaway ends. Yeah, um, but yeah, that's my biggest bag, and then I got a few others. So I mean, I don't want the Tesla, I want to meet the lads, but. Yeah, as you say, I won't be minting straight away. I'll be holding on. I'll let the others rush in. We'll be answering too many questions of 
How do I mint? We won't have time to mint. Correct, I believe that. How do Mothbus. I mint? How do I do? Sorry. What about you, Matbus? It's a tough question. Um, I'm going to do 50-50, probably. Uh, at least 50-50. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to sell my, my NFTs. Um, so I'm going to at least do 50-50 and then, and then wait and see how the, uh, the IOU token does, you know, um, and then either, either mint the rest of them or, or not. And then, um, but yeah, well, well, I'm, I'm not going to sell, I'm not going to sell, sell any of them. Any I'm never going to sell any of them. I have no, no I have no reason to because no, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to sell any of my NFTs because why when you can rent them out? Rent them out. NFTs. Would you sell, hypothetically, would you sell junk if it went to a certain price, taking away your relationship with Jake, obviously? Yeah. Oh, yeah, if it went to a certain price, yes. Yeah. You'd have to, yeah. You'd just yeah, have you'd to. Have to. You'd, yeah. you'd be crazy not to. You'd be crazy be not to. Yeah, no, the, qu the question crazy. is, would you trade your minted NFTs for other NFTs? No. Junk no. for junk, though. No, junk for junk yeah let's 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 see if you could trade a, a, a one that you like that's cooler looking but the i would trade it yeah i would okay. trade a junk for a junk yeah okay. that that would be cool yeah dependent on what if i had one that was i i don't know whether i would i think the ones i had that i weren't really keen on or whatever i think i'd just try and rent them to be honest yeah, yeah. so that's I'd a great them. case for utility right being able to do that yeah I, I think that's what i'd do i think i'd rent them to people like me who don't play games yeah with, have a go. without the understanding of how that renting is going to work it's kind of hard to say yeah it is, hard. Yeah. It is hard, yeah, but because if it's like the decks where everybody undercuts each other because one person's mm -hmm. okay with getting a dollar per month and somebody I, wants I fifty dollars per month then that's i don't difference. think that can, can happen i think they have to do it as a set price otherwise they say everyone will just keep undercutting each other and then exactly of yeah. no value of no point in renting because you'll get people who will just undercut undercut every time exactly because a dollar can go one way depending on where you live in the world versus another way where you depend on. so yeah. a dollar to somebody can be worth a lot more than a dollar to me yeah exactly so i think it needs to be a fixed price and there's no arguing that is the price you're not and close the marketplace you're not gonna try and outbid each other on the renting of one yeah um, like it like a like a floor price a fixed floor price and yeah. then from there it can go up there can be a bidding process yeah I don't know. Oh, but I don't we'll know. see. We'll see. So it's, we'll an see. Yeah. it's an yeah. interesting space at the moment. Very interesting, especially now XLS 20D is passing. It's becoming more and more exciting. So I have yeah. a question, a hypothetical question. Do you see projects in the future giving additional perks so that you would mint their NFT versus holding the token? Oh, oh, that's interesting. What? So getting people to mint their token correct to get as much off the, the dex marketplace i mean obviously the junkies has the tesla giveaway and yeah you, that's a good that's a very good reason to mint but beyond that what's stopping some, somebody from just staying on the token forever and, and perpetuate you know forever well that's then doing harm to the project isn't it because if you're not minting then they're not getting anything for it so um I don't know because would that cause arguments with hang on I minted and I was offered nothing. It's a question. It's a touchy one. I don't know where. I mean, myself, if I had a project, I would do it because I couldn't give a shit. I'm doing it because I want to do it. It's well, I know the X punks, for example, they will swap out your token for a new token. And so the old token will become kind of worthless. So people will run to the exit you know they right. will either mint or get the new token for the new project i don't know how it's done with other projects so basically they'll open up a new project for you to get rid of your old x-punk is that what yeah you're saying? because the x-punk iu is really meant meant to be minted you know it is meant to be minted. yeah absolutely yeah. and yes. i will mint 50 percent of them and then wait a little bit and then i may see what happens maybe well, you're a whale the over there bro so <laughs> oh, <laughs> <on>. nice. <laughs> i don't know i mean i suppose it's a question we could ask 
Jake or Lawrence. I mean, that's a thing. Would would they do that with junk? I don't know. I have asked that question to Jake, and one of his thoughts was that uh, you remember. I don't know if you recall this, but you know, everybody Buddy, I was in... probably uh, most of a bottle free vodka at the time. <laughs> that's so. fair. That's fair because it was probably a Friday night since we asked yeah. him. Uh, so he, 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 everybody, everybody puts. Throw. Yeah, people put their um, their fractionals in a in a pot and then oh, they draw the name. Yeah. yeah, so you, you could have yeah. a chance to win one full junk essentially. Yeah, one NFT. Get, that gets rid of the fractionals. Correct. But, That's correct. Yep. Right. But then we have how long do the IOUs stand for? How what's the time? I what don't time do you put on the IOU? How how long are they going to give this? Because... I think you know it depends on the project. Probably maybe they give you a deadline until that day that you can swap it out and if not I you're going to be the last one standing to. i yeah. think it needs to to be honest a deadline you've got this date to like what when they fade out currency you have this time to get rid of it otherwise it's useless you're just holding it as a memento yeah you'll be the last one standing with the token that nobody needs anymore do you know what? I'd save one just to say I've got one of the original junks, the IOU <laughs> junks. Well, well, it ain't going to be worth fuck over. I'm holding it. There's there's a reason why a bunch of Ripple employees left and started a thing called Super Mojo. Yeah, good point. Let's that. talk about that. Good point, yeah. out. Um, Super Mojo. You want to go over it? I don't know a whole lot about it. All I know is that you can buy NFTs on layaway. So yeah. there's a reason why this project is, is doing that is because they believe NFTs are going to go uh, parabolic and yeah, they're going right. to be expensive and it's going to be hard for people to purchase. So yeah, that's, it's, that's I think they're is. working on a API, right? Um, that will be embeddable into any kind of marketplace, no matter what blockchain um, where people get an additional payment option and that will be layaway yeah. right and yes. installments installments yeah Which and we made a video thing. about this one by the way if you guys want to look at that we have a, a specific video that name not renamed. many of you have you yeah go. i suggest you check it out because like you said this this may be really big people yeah. left ripple to start this so there's something there i believe yes yeah and as we say NFTs, who knows what could happen to the price of NFTs? Uh, we're only just starting out in it. So I think it's a good way for people to buy an NFT if they want to. Yeah, I mean, uh, almost no one knows what this is. If you go out in the street, ask someone, what's an NFT? Like, you're going to get a blank face, probably. Are you, I'll get, <laughs> are you swearing at me, mate? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they will say I, NFT, I say, you. At work, I say at work, and they all look at me like, what's, you know, what's he on? Has he been on it again? Something wrong with him. Yeah. So, there's not a lot of people understand, but there you go. So overall, what's our conclusion, lads, of IOU to the NFT price as an overall I, scope? I think it's going to be a quick rush at first, and then it'll slow down over a month or so, you know, as far as when people mint out. Everybody's going to want to mint, and they're going to mint, like, really fast. Oh, let's do it. So there needs yeah. to be some kind of a staggering kind of a, a, a way. I know, I know Junkies is looking at that, making sure that the health of the network stays healthy. Um, and there, and most of the marketplaces are doing that as well. So, um, so everybody who, who's, who's watching this, be a little patient, you know, with the projects when they're going to mint and exactly when, because that's the most important thing. Is yeah, the health of the network. I mean, let's be honest, people are going to expect as soon as them doing it, what, when can I mint? Well, let's be patient here. You can't, not every project can straight away mint because it'll be a shit show where, and then they'll be moaning. So you've got to be patient with these people. And they keep stressing it on on Twitter too. Let's let's look after the network first before you rush out. Yes. Yeah, I agree. I think the utility ones are going to be interesting to to you know to see what happens with them. The non-utility ones they don't have an expiration date per se because they have their their own market right based on the art and the rarity. Yeah. But I think there may be a little rush on the ones with utility first. At least that's what I think. 
So will the price of the IOU go up? I think, again, it probably depends on uh, uh, the utility. I uh, think that's important. Yeah, you know? I, I honestly think, obviously, depending on the project, I, I honestly think the IOU price will go up because suddenly the, all these people that have sat in the background will suddenly want in and it'll just go up. With, I mean, cause yeah, you're be right. There's a lot of paper, yeah. tissue paper and zoo are in it for the money. They've had no interest in the project. They just want to sell that token. And we saw a little bit of that more. rush when the XLS 1 and started the started. Yeah, the I mean, right? the, there's a prime example. As soon as it passed, the price of most projects went up instantly. Yeah. Yep. So uh, that uncertainty yep. will go away and a lot of people will hop in because they know now we can mint, so they will get into yeah. the token. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. I um, think for a few days, I think for a few weeks, and especially once more and more projects start minting, I think project the price will go up across the whole lot of them gradually. Some may go up big time, some I think gradual, depending on the size of the project. It'll be exciting to watch. Exciting oh, times. God, yeah. Well, I we want have to a... take some time off work just to watch which one I can look <laughs> out. <laughs> we have a couple of minutes only left. Anything yeah. else? It's over to you two guys. I got Glory nothing. Yours. I just want to thank you for uh, having me, and uh, I'm sure uh, Mod feels the we same. We love having oh, you. Oh yeah, here. we'll see what happens. Guys, here. we love having you, and you know that you're our poker night tonight too. in the junkies Discord. Poker night. Come love talking over. about XRPL and NFTs and the project and, and being engaged with the community. Just, we need to make I a mean, video yeah. with uh, about talk about FET now, okay? Maybe this is something yeah. interesting to, to get yeah, over. We'll have a problem. look and we'll join again, lads. It's always great to have you two with us. Yeah, you're thanks like, for being here. You're like, you're like family. We love you here. <laughs> it's good to be Thank here. Thank you, guys. Thank you. To the moon.